Lewis Hamilton shook the F1 world by announcing his transfer to Ferrari during the winter break. Last year Mercedes struggled, but this year, the team is performing much better. Would Hamilton still have made the same choice given Mercedes' improvement? He answered this question at Silverstone, sparking more speculation and excitement. After many successful years with the Mercedes team and winning many championships, Lewis Hamilton announced in February that he would be joining Ferrari in 2025. Although rumours about Hamilton moving to Ferrari had circulated before, not many believed it would actually happen. In 2023, Hamilton was often unhappy with his Mercedes car, frequently complaining about its problems and lack of speed. However, this season has been much better. Mercedes has introduced effective updates and the team is now more competitive, often fighting at the front of the field. After qualifying for the British Grand Prix, seven-time world champion Lewis Hamilton was asked if he would have still switched to Ferrari if he had last year's car today. Hamilton's response was clear, yes, the Briton will start Sunday's race in second place. Hamilton is not regretting his decision to move to Ferrari next year, even though Mercedes seems to have gained an edge over its Italian rivals. Hamilton, who will join Ferrari in 2025 after 12 years with Mercedes, made it to the podium for the first time this season with a third-place finish at the Spanish Grand Prix on Sunday. His improved performance included outpacing Ferrari drivers Charles Leclerc and Carlos Sainz, who finished fifth and sixth respectively. Hamilton even overtook Sainz twice, the Spaniard he is set to replace at Ferrari. But does Mercedes's apparent resurgence while Ferrari shows signs of struggle make Hamilton regret his decision to switch teams? Firstly, I love Mercedes. And my job this year is to work as hard as I can with my crew and the people back at the factory to try and move in the right direction, Hamilton said. Despite his upcoming move, Hamilton remains focused on giving his best for Mercedes this year. His dedication to the team and his determination to help improve their performance is evident. My job will start next year with the other team, who I think are doing great. I can't tell you what is wrong with that car and why they are in the position they are in today. But it doesn't make me second-guess my decision at all. Red Bull driver Max Verstappen won the race ahead of Lando Norris, with Hamilton right behind. This was the seven-time Formula One champion's best result since finishing third at the Mexican GP in October last year. Hamilton added to his record with 18 consecutive seasons with a podium finish. In Barcelona, Hamilton also outscored teammate George Russell, who was fourth for just the third time this season. Hamilton's record-extending 103rd win came at Saudi Arabia in 2021. He has not won a race since and Verstappen has dethroned him as the dominant driver in F1. Hamilton said that his goal is to have the best possible final finish with Mercedes before joining Ferrari, where the 39-year-old will start a new phase of his outstanding career. It would be nice to win again with Mercedes, he said. I think considering where we've come from, just having consistency and seeing if we can put the team further up in the points, I think that's got to be the target. Hamilton, who has switched to Ferrari on a new three-year deal, is set to receive a pay bump upon his switch, as well as securing the future of his Mission 44 initiative and an ambassadorship role with the Ferrari brand. The seven-time F1 world champion has been reluctant to talk too much about what lies ahead of him, out of respect for his current employer Mercedes, as he gives his final season with the team is all. The British Grand Prix delivered upon the potential that had emerged in recent races through car upgrades as Hamilton romped to victory for his first win in almost three years. Speaking to Sky F1 ahead of that weekend, Hamilton opened up on his 2025 switch and admitted he's feeling a little nervous about the change of environment, having spent most of the last two decades with Mercedes power through his current team and his stint at McLaren between his debut in 2007 through to 2012. It's going to be new. It's also daunting because it's new territory, it's a new experience, and it will be a challenge. But you know, I love challenges, Hamilton told Martin Brundle. I expect it to be massively different. I mean, the two teams I've been with have been British teams, so I'm going into a completely different culture in Italy. Ferrari has a long history and a passionate fan base. It will be a new chapter in my career, 
and I am looking forward to it. Hamilton's focus remains on finishing strong with Mercedes. His victory at the British Grand Prix not only marked his return to the top step of the podium, but also demonstrated his commitment to achieving the best possible results for his current team. If you think about us Brits, we're quieter and calmer when you have success or difficult days. Everyone's kind of more chilled out, whereas Italians are much more emotional, Hamilton explained. It's a much different culture. I don't truly know what to expect, but I have raced in Italy, so I expect it to be a huge amount different but special and unique in some ways. Facing the prospect of racing against the cars with which he's become so closely linked over the past 12 years, Hamilton said it's going to be strange when he finds himself going wheel to wheel with a Mercedes. Naturally, I think everything's going to feel alien because I've been with Mercedes for so long, so it'll be really strange, he said. As the seven-time F1 world champion heads into his final months as a Mercedes F1 driver, Hamilton said he doesn't think the atmosphere will change as the team looks to move on without his involvement. Asked whether he feels he'll become an outsider as the team focuses on performance development for the 2025 car, knowledge the team would prefer he doesn't have when he switches sides, Hamilton said he hasn't yet been forced to back away. I don't think so, Hamilton said. So far, I have been really hands-on and involved in the development of this car. That's the only way we can work this year. I haven't kept anything from them, and they haven't kept anything from me. I want the team to succeed, even when I'm not here. With our recent success, I feel grateful and proud to be a part of that. Hamilton's commitment to Mercedes remains strong as he continues to contribute fully to the team's progress, focusing on leaving a positive impact even as he prepares for his move to Ferrari. A move to Ferrari raises eyebrows because Hamilton had signed a two-year contract with Mercedes for the 2024 and 2025 seasons, but that deal contained a clause allowing him to leave after one season. Reports indicate that Hamilton's agreement with Ferrari was hastily arranged as the team was negotiating with Spanish driver Carlos Sainz, whose contract ends this season, about an extension. Hamilton won his last world title in 2020 but lost the 2021 championship controversially to Max Verstappen when the race director ignored safety car rules in Abu Dhabi, blocking Hamilton's path to victory in both the race and the championship. Verstappen, who is 13 years younger, has dominated F1 since then. Hamilton finished sixth in the driver's standings in 2022 and third in 2023. Ferrari, who admitted they discussed future opportunities with Hamilton in 2019, declined to comment on reports of negotiating a switch for the 2025 season. Hamilton has never hidden his anger about the 2021 Abu Dhabi incident, feeling robbed of an eighth title that would surpass Ferrari legend Michael Schumacher's record. Hamilton's frustration with his Mercedes car's performance over the past two years is evident, and he might believe a move to Ferrari could reignite his challenge for that elusive history-making title. However, Ferrari has also experienced inconsistent form in recent seasons although they gained momentum towards the end of last season. That improvement, however, was not enough to prevent Mercedes from beating them to second place behind Red Bull in the Constructors' Championship. As Hamilton prepares for his move, the dynamics of his final season with Mercedes and his potential impact on Ferrari remain topics of great interest and speculation in the F1 world. So, what do you think of Hamilton's future with Ferrari? Comment below and subscribe for more.